Right, for this month's platinum product, we've come to have a look at what's got to be the Rolls Royce of Pramwood Bivvies, the M3 from Acra. Here with Damien Clark, one of the Acra team. You use this bivvy yourself, mate, do you? I do, mate, yeah. Ever since they come out, I've been using it. Um, used the Armadillo for years, and then this is like the latest incarnation from Chris Manifold, the M3. Absolutely the Rolls Royce of bivvies. Such a solid structure, aren't they, these Pramwood bivvies? Uh, of course. I mean, this uh, bar section here, when you're out in the wind and real severe weather, it just stays rock solid, better than any other bivvy I've ever used. You know, I wouldn't go out in the winter without one of these type bivvies. Superb. So um, you say you use the, the Aqualite for your summer fishing? If you I like. use the Carbon Compact Sorry, carbon for, compact for summer fishing because it packs one. down to small and they use this in the autumn and the winter time. Even trips to France, add on the, you know, the extended rack, you've got loads more space in there, you get two bed chairs in there if you need to, all the kit you need throughout that. Oh, just that know. comfort for being there for a week. Exactly, you, want to you be get cozy, your clothes, you? more bait, all that sort of thing, it all fits in there nicely. Superb. Right, shall we uh, have a look through the various features? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the best features for this bivvy is the fact that you can take these up, you've got a nice zip one there which opens it up much neater than having Velcro. Everything rolls up really easily. So it's, know, not, it's not just about the sort of air movement, is it? It's the light no, in the bivvy too, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. And, and you know, when it's windy and you've got the wind in your face, you need the support of having this down. You know, if it's if you've only like in the summer, I don't take the bars and all that sort of thing, but it just gives you a bit more purchase to the ground. You know, so and it's nice to look out and it feels a bit more uh, carpy when that's on. Definitely. But you know, if you want to lighten everything down. You can just not take the, the ground sheet. You can undo these, so you can pop this off. And then really quickly, just whip that off. You know, so you've got a very lightweight shelter. And when it's really hot, maybe you don't want the front on it, you know? That's these, it, I mean, these... most of the times we don't fish with the front, so no, I don't personally. I don't either. And because you've got these vents at the back, you've got a good amount of airflow, so when it's really hot, you know, you aren't boiling away in the bivvy. Makes a lot of difference, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And in the summer mornings when you want to pack up, you know, you've got a bit of condensation, we well, don't get any condensation, no, do you, because no. of that extra airflow. Other points to note on here, you've got this uh, peak on the front, which I can put that off. This, That's a nice shape, actually. Yeah. It's sort of been shaped to, for the, the rain to run off, I guess, isn't it? Stops the rain coming in directly when you're sitting on the edge of your bed chair. So you can, you can pull this out, take that off, or well, don't bother putting it on to start with. And again, you've got another zip. Zip and Velcro, I suppose that's for uh, extra waterproof there, isn't it? Well, it's just more secure, isn't it? So you've got a very open, lightweight bivvy there. Right, Damas, that's the old extended rack we've put on there. Yeah, went on really easy, didn't it? Yeah. A couple of minutes, whack it on. Great for the winter time, reduces condensation. Or if you're going on a long session, you know, like France, like we spoke about, you can, there's plenty more room to put in there. The same sort of features, you've got the mosquito panels at the front, which cover up very quickly. You've also got the mosquito panel at the back, so you, you can get a good airflow through the, the bivvy, especially important in France. That's a good point, isn't it? I've seen a lot of wind wraps that, you know, they go over these bivvies that have got the vents on the back, but no vents. No, so. and it just gets really hot, so they're a great feature. Um, on either side of the door, you've got this thing here for putting on your rods, stop them sliding off. You've got the uh, mosquito panel on the door, and I think you can put the, uh, the clear panel on there as well to stop the rain coming in should the weather turn bad. Yep. All in all, a, a great addition to that bivvy. Like you say, I mean, there's people out there like you know, like me and yourself who probably only use something like this if it really had to. Yeah. But I'd say, you know, you walk around these lakes here and 60, 70% of the anglers just like to have everything in anyway, there. They do, don't mate, they? yeah. Take the kitchen sink, bivy tables, everything, even the ground sheet. But for it caters for everybody. You can the the, the the winter wrap only packs up in a little bag like that, so it's no great shakes putting it on your on your barrow if you need to. Or um, you know, if you don't want to take it, just take the bivy as it is. And that is an all-round bivvy, you know, you've got whatever you want there, haven't you? Yeah, it's a good, strong shelter that you can use at any time of the year. And you'll get years and years of use out of this. If you invest in one of these, you've got it for pretty much five, ten years, depending on how much you use it. That's a good, good bit of kit, that, mate. Definitely. Top stuff.